everyone, it's the Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're all doing well. We are back today to have a look at something we've already had a look at a couple of months ago, and that is the Val Metal Max tracks from Custom Modding. Now, we originally got the one you see in front of you here, the very small one, as the first test one. Um, now, what happened was, obviously, Val Metal, uh, it's, a, it's a partnership with Custom Modding, so it is a legitimate new brand coming to the game. Um, so the licensing had to be sorted out, and in addition, because Valmetal wanted the best product they could in the game, it's taken a little bit of while working with custom modding to get these just right, but it's been worth the wait, because now I have access to the full pack. This has already gone into testing with Giants, so fingers crossed it may see the light of day relatively soon. But as you can see, we have now a suite of six different tankers, in the set now i'm not going to go back over everything because we already had a look at these in detail in my first video which i will pop a link to in the top right hand corner as we speak but i will show you um just a few of the things that have changed so of course originally there was the one that we had the smallest of the six but then we go up this is still dual wheeled and then we go to triples and we've got a couple with triples on and then we have got these beasts with four wheels on. And the detail, again, we've seen it before, but look at this. This is off the charts, isn't it? So, so well detailed. Now, one of the things I like about these big ones is the independent wheel steering, which we'll have a look at in a little while. In terms of attachers, they are all the same. So you've got the triple low there. You have the applicator that you see there, um, which we'll test in a minute. We've got the dual low. Uh, the single low and the single high attachment. Now, if you remember in the last video as well, it was a little bit jumpy when you connected up the uh, various pieces. So I'm pleased to say that is one of the areas that has been improved. Now, you still need the forklift or the skid steer or whatever implement of choice you want to put on. But basically, you raise that up to there. We need a tractor now. Just so happens I have the John Deere over here. So there you go, we've just reversed the John Deere up. Now that's attached, you can see we've raised the skid steer into place and it is just a case of hitting the Q button. And there you go, that's a lot smoother than it was in the previous version, which is nice to see. Now if we jump into the shop just to have a look at it, we'll run through the options in the first one here. Um, you've got wheel options, Michelin, Redstein, Trelleborg, Got a couple of options within there. Michelin's you just have the one option and Redstein you just have the one option too. Now side fenders are those. Power boom is this at the top. Crone flow meter control adds that on as well, which is at the top. Um, there is a beacon on the top as well. An extension at the back. Automatic greasing system, which sits under there. You can have a PTO version or you can go full hydraulic and if you want attachers at the back are your three options you've got the trailer hitch the lift level injector mount which is for the injector mount um or nothing at all which just takes then the uh, the three the applicator types the different applicator types um color wise you have your orange you have your red and you have your silver for the tank and design color you have orange or red for the chassis and that is your lot now they are identical on all of the models so then you've got it starting out at 74,900 with a 17.2 meters cubed capacity or 17,200 liters um, the next one up 85,100 with a 21,500 liter capacity next up is the 93,600 pound version this is the one that goes to a triple axle for the first time and that is 23,600 litres capacity next up then is the second triple slightly bigger tank again here uh, 28,000 litres up again we have 119,700 pound version this is the first uh, quad axle version um, 36,300 litres in that one and then finally the big dog 38,600 litres capacity 131,200 pounds dollars or euros um, in terms of power requirements 
300 horsepower for this one and a running speed of 9 miles an hour going back down the way here 270 horsepower 9 miles an hour 250 horsepower 9 miles an hour uh, 230 200 and 170 all with a running speed of 9 miles an hour they both take digestate and slurry and that is about it short and simple i am going to run one let's uh, jump back here uh, i'm going to disconnect this in fact i'm going to disconnect the tractor um and we'll hook it up to the big beast because this is something to behold um it's huge and i want to show you the independent axles and the steering so if i roll down here we see we've got 78,000 litres of slurry in there. If I turn the tractor like so, let's do quite an extreme turn so you can see um, the wheels. There you go. Um, the third axle stays straight, but we have a turning wheel at the back and two at the front. Of course, on the three uh, axle version, um, you have the front and rear and the middle one stays the same, but really, really nice. That's off to custom modding. The effort that's gone into these is something else. So, right, let's get this lined up. I'll get it unfolded. It has got the triple um, spray uh, connector on it. We'll get that unfolded, like so. Uh, we will power it on. There we go. And off we go. So a good broad spread on it and because there's so much in the tank you could actually cover a massive amount of a field with this obviously i'm going to work on all farms because it is massive i don't think you'll see this on the lanes of court farms well you might but you might struggle to get in some of the gates but uh, really nice independent uh, suspension on each of the four wheels as well which is really nice um, and i think these look phenomenal absolutely tremendous so there you go i'm not going to dwell on this because um like i said there's the original video if you want to go and look at them in a little bit more detail uh and this was just a little bit of an update to say that they are all ready now they are all with giants for testing and hopefully we'll see them out in the mod hub very soon of course as with all custom modding mods these are for all platform too so keep an eye on them and grab them when they come, because um, they're fantastic. Okay, for me for now, the Farm Sim Guy, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care, bye for now.